Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel called Unique Art. So today I'm going to be premiering a new segment to the channel and it's called Famous Local Creatives. These are based on famous South African creatives, you know, who has gone globally. Okay, so the first person that I would like to do this on is Dr. Esther Milangu. So uh, she is a visual artist based here in South Africa. And if you didn't know, on the 12th, oh no, 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 on the 11th, sorry, she turned 85 years old. Wow. That is a milestone, like, reach to have lived eight decades. Okay, so her website is www.themelrosegallery.com. So all the details regarding her biographical details, you know, what type of artist she is, and her artworks for sale and prints are available on that site. Okay, so her work is also included in the South African government order of the Inka Manga. I hope I pronounce it properly. <laughs> she has become well known as a traditional Indipele tribal painter. And she has become global for her Indipele designs, which are bold, bright and abstract. Esther recreated the Indipele design traditionally used to decorate houses. She has spent seven decades practicing her art and has traveled and collaborated with global brands, museums and galleries. For example, she's worked with BMW and Rolls Royce. Wow, that is quite, you know, a high level to reach as an artist and it's aspiring for a fellow South African artist like myself as well. Okay. So she became the first African to participate in the BMW Art Car Collection and then she joined the list of notable artists and designers such as Andy Warhol, David Hockney, Roy Lichtenstein and Frank Stella. Wow, those are some of my favorite artists, especially Roy Lichtenstein. Okay, so she says, so as I was saying, you know, she said on a recent celebration for 85th birthday which was done virtually you know from the Melrose gallery she said she'd like to continue to create art for as long as possible so she's going to be painting for many more years to come hopefully god willing <laughs> which is incredible because um, artworks are amazing okay so this is dr esther's stylistic characteristics traditional art is used as a medium um and it is in the Bele tribe art form, or it is usually placed under Pan-African art. Okay, abstract, African, bold, bright, and colorful patterns. Abstract on a flat plane and two-dimensional. Her art style resembles the restyle art movement, which is actually cool because, you know, it started here in Africa and uh, for it to be similar to a German art form you know it's really cool seeing the cultural links that you know has been happening you know for over centuries and so forth okay the indibele art form is mural based and is painted on traditional african huts indibele design was passed down for generations for decor of their huts so each person in the indibele culture especially the woman would specialize in mastering the skill. Okay, so here are some biographical details of her. She was born in Middelberg, Mapumalanga province, South Africa. She is the eldest of nine children. Wow. <laughs> okay, so her mother and her grandmother passed down the traditional Indipele wall painting and beadwork when she was just a child. So she has become an expert specializing in a wide variety of mediums. She married in 1940, which is quite a while back, <laughs> and has had three sons. In 1980 to 1991, she worked at the Pochabelo Bocha, Historical Village, which was known as an open-air museum for the Indibele culture. 
A Parisian saw how artworks and invited her to Paris to hold a solo exhibition. So, so as I was saying, a Parisian invited her to Paris to hold a solo exhibition and this is how she became discovered. I think, you know, nowadays artists take for granted, you know, how easily they can just, you know, send off their artworks on or post it on social media in an instant whereas back in the day they just had to you know get opportunities or do things you know like live painting and so forth in order to get discovered so it was a by chance encounter but you that by chance sometimes is destiny you know this distant opportunities let me rather say it like that um, so I think um, we need to appreciate um, that we have these platforms nowadays which makes life so much easier to get stuck in an instant. Okay, so in 1989 she travelled to France painting live houses using her Indibele design technique. After the exposure, exposure that she got from the Soli exhibition, she got various opportunities in Europe and the United States. She went on later to exhibit her works globally in other countries, from Mexico to Switzerland to Australia. So her main goal is to preserve her cultural heritage and she teaches globally and it's also why she also got a doctorate and hence why her name is Dr. Esther Milanko. So guys, that is the video, you know, for the famous local creative segment. It's been really exciting, you know, starting this. I'm going to be doing more coming soon and I want to let you guys know. I've been saying so long that I'm going to make this video and I finally got the chance in order to do it today. So um, next time I'm going to be talking about um, artist Robin Pretorius from Belhar. She's worked with some famous brands such as the Spear Gallery, which is here in Silent Bosch. They have a nice gallery and wine farm, you know. And I think Karen Kuchi from Idols is also going to be performing there December. I saw it in the Cows River Group, so check out the details on their website. And also, you know, she's worked with Woolworths on... So yes, as I was saying, I'm going to be talking about Ryan Pitouris in the next video. She's done these new packaging designs with the Woolworths um, of her like artwork. Her artwork is very realistic. She specializes in super realism um, art movement, let me rather say it like that. And um, I want to talk further about Trevor, the photographer who has um, become global, you know, through BBC News and so forth and working with people even like Beyonce, for example. And also another designer, which is too often mentioned in design school, high school, sorry, textbooks, Heath Nash, the, the light designer, yes, who uses the recycled materials in order to, you know, preserve the environment, but also creates these beautiful, um, these beautiful light designs. So I'm very excited, you know, to continue on with this segment, you know. So until next time, guys, goodbye. So I forgot to mention this, you know, the last two minutes of this video includes Dr. Esther Milangu talking about her artworks, you know, so forth. And you can also see some of her artworks and where she talks and, you know, just as, as a discussion on it. So I'm glad I found this video to include with, you know, so guys until then thank you and like and subscribe and share all the details goodbye isn't it baby i'm water Come <laughs> Thank you.
bathi nababu yala papa ti yesu skala mra lo sonele kanga kanga wenza na wenza nje kijamii kuingu mfunu wa zangi ju jenga bunge haya bathi muga senza la sas na ba yupumu la kambi la kuto aibunda yenge spi yenge yenge spi yenge kuale la pon kuale la wanando bazo kwa la wanando bazo kwa kwa samba bat kwanje kuni kala sako sirah. Mina kibele tena ayo, kulenga ayo, boko oku. Indo ya ngezi kuti ngikiba mbelele mnangilo oku ngoba, kati aa mfunu kikege kwa gama. Ntili ngi was. Ya ibo ni nrafu. Kaiba amba hagi, kaiba amba tili weze nge. Safiga la kenge ngilisu kwa la mzamu nga uku wala nga pante na nga pagati. Kwa ngeena lo kukuti mzamu ni mtewe. Gua kualisi indo. 